First at six, data from Pennsylvania's health department showing COVID-19 cases and hospitalizations are on the rise among people who are vaccinated. WFMZ's Jack Reinhardt spoke with a couple of Lehigh Valley doctors and joins us live in the studio with more on that. Jack? Dane, both doctors we spoke with say they believe there are more breakthrough cases out there. Not everyone with symptoms is seeking treatment since they are mild. Still, they both say the majority of cases they're seeing are among the unvaccinated. Statewide data shows that COVID-19 infections among vaccinated people has risen over the past month. Statistics on breakthrough infections shows that vaccinated people accounted for a little more than a quarter of all new infections between September 5th and October 4th. The numbers up from 6% of cases and 5% of hospitalizations between January and September. COVID is still very much with us. It's still spreading in our communities, our surrounding counties. Lehigh Valley Health Network infectious disease physician Dr. Luther Rhodes says there's a common theme among breakthrough cases he sees at the hospital. They're vaccinated, but they have other health conditions. At both Lehigh Valley Health Network and St. Luke's, doctors say a majority of cases continue to be among people who are unvaccinated. St. Luke's says that's the case for 80% of its COVID-19 hospitalizations. The two of them still urging residents who haven't done so to get vaccinated. These vaccines, all of them, have still been very, very notably successful. They're not 100% successful, but they're certainly very successful in preventing the major consequences. Dr. Jeffrey Jari says the vaccine was never designed to be 100% effective. He says much of the breakthrough cases are due to the emergence of the Delta variant, which is more transmissible than previous variants. Dr. Jari urging everyone to remain on guard. Make sure that you do get vaccinated and that if you are eligible for the booster, I would strongly recommend that you get your booster vaccine. And we know that that is even going to be increased from the current groups that have authorization. Both doctors say it's still important to practice social distancing, particularly when indoors. They tell us vaccines are still widely available and effective. Dane.